Hello, I'm Charlie Pousey and I'm the owner here at Curry Creek Miniature Goats Day. We've got 21 miniature goats at the moment. So I started when I was 13 years of age and once I got my first two goats, I just kept expanding. He really wanted a goat for a Christmas present one year and he was gifted that goat by his grandmother and it was basically a bush goat. That was the most feralist thing <laughs> you can imagine and it was kicking and it was bucking and it had horns and this goat he worked with every single day. We would watch him out the window with a lead, a collar, like it was a dog, trying to get it to walk behind him, beside him. This goat eventually was like a pet dog. It was amazing. It was so well behaved, um, interacted with people, and really, Charlie ignited. This one is Faye, uh, Hazel, Tilly, Jossie, and little butterscotch here. So he has this showing passion. He loves showing the goats. From showing became he wants more goats, he wants to start breeding, um, and it's just evolved. My first excitement was probably when I got my first homebred animal and it um, won at our f first show in Nurit. That was a proud moment for me. Um, I think I was 15 when I made my first sale, yeah. So the business is really interesting. It has been fueled by his passion. So we have no expertise in goats whatsoever. He is fully self-driven. A lot of families with younger children are buying weathers as pets, obviously. We sell a pair of weathers, which are D-sex males, for only $500. And then your females start from at least $1,000. I'm so proud of Charlie, a um, 17-year-old who is so kind and hardworking. This is his passion. He is so committed and self-driven. We're his biggest fans. There's a lot to care for goats, um, especially now in kidding season. Feeding, watering every day, obviously, and then drenching them, worming, and yeah, it's very hard, but I just try to time it as best as possible. Like after school, I'll do all the goat stuff and then homework at night. As well as working, I've got five jobs, so it's pretty hectic, but I manage it all, yes. He works a lot of part-time jobs to help him yeah, afford all the bills and the, the feed and all the goat accessories. I milk cows, I milk goats at a dairy farm up the road from us. I do Saturdays at a vet in Camperdown, waitering in Port Campbell and waitering at the Simpson pub also. So it's flat out. So not only his self-confidence has um, evolved, his business management, of course, all organisational skills, budgeting, monitoring, assessing, planning, seeking assistance, asking questions. I think it's the foundation of something a lot bigger. I think um, what he has achieved and the skills he now has, has enabled him to um, yeah, set himself up for the big wide world and he's capable of anything now.